there are no innocent questions. I'll never forget this story a friend told me. As the head of recruiting for a rather large company, he spent weeks at a time interviewing scores of candidates for a wide variety of openings. With so much practice, he became very good at identifying unsuitable candidates in minutes and releasing the unsuspecting person with a simple, thanks for stopping by, before the interview even got underway. Here's how it worked. On greeting a young woman applicant for a sales position one morning, my friend asked, how are you? The applicant immediately began whining about the fact that it was raining, and besides, she had a run in her stocking. This was a cue to my friend. He turned to her and, feigning embarrassment, said, Oh, are you here to apply for that sales position? I'm sorry, we forgot to call. We filled it yesterday. But we'll keep you in mind for any other sales openings that come along. Thanks for stopping by. This story demonstrates an interview truism that few candidates realize. There is no such thing as an innocent question. You are being judged from the moment the interviewer sees you or hears you on the telephone until the offer of employment is made. There are many seemingly innocent questions that can completely doom your chances very quickly. Here are just a few. How are you today? Did you have any trouble finding us? You're doing just fine, thank you, and no, you didn't have any trouble at all. That's because, don't admit this, just do it, you took the time to get directions from the interviewer's assistant. Again, it all comes down to being positive. I'm not suggesting that you plaster an idiot grin on your face and go on like some Stepford employee, but I do urge you to make every effort not to let anything negative, even the crummy weather, enter into any part of your interaction with the interviewer.